It is Thursday the 1st of August 2019. I've had a bit of a kitchen morning and I've been uh, making yet more jam. So in the jam pan we have strawberries and apple. Now uh, we've added the apple in to uh, bulk it up but also make sure that the jam sets because strawberries by themselves have very little pectin in. The peel and cores aren't going to waste, uh, so I've boiled them up to get a liquid off them, which we'll be using to make apple jelly. Meanwhile, for lunch, I've made another quail egg salad, just to try and get them used up. And the flans I made a couple of days ago, we still haven't finished, so we had that for lunch as well. So the jam's now made, and We've got seven jars. We found more soft cheese in the fridge that we made a few years ago from our goat's milk. So uh, we've uh, put it together to make the filling for these two flans. Uh, so they are about to go into the oven. It is Friday the 2nd of August 2019. I'm in our main goat house and uh, we are waiting for Spot to have her babies. Now, uh, she's been keeping us guessing for quite some time and I think she might still be keeping us guessing at the moment but she's lying down all by herself and she hasn't got up for the feed which I'm about to go and get for them. And normally she'd be waiting at the gate uh, for us so I'm just wondering whether she's actually close to having her babies so there she is just waiting not getting up and I think we've just got to keep checking her and make sure that she's okay Yes, actually I think she has started uh, because you can see there's something dangling from her back end there. It may just be mucus, but the white mucus is a sign that she's starting. Well, I'm leaving Spot in the goat house for the time being so I can go off and get the food. So I've come over to our far side plot and David has been in today and he has picked all of the, or what's left of the broad bean crop. So these bean plants here will soon be pulled up and sort of left just to rot on the ground because they'll release nutrients into the soil. But we're also bringing over, every time I come, a barrow load of manure from the near side plot. And it's all eventually going to be dug into the ground, but as you can see, there's various heaps of it around the place. Uh, some more up there and uh, some down here as well. So it's going to be a big job getting all this manure over because, as you can imagine, with uh, 10 goats and to be more, the amount of muck they produce is quite a large amount. And one of the other jobs David has just done is to change over the nuke box uh, for the swarm that was here and he's added the frames from the nuke box to this hive which he put together earlier this week and as you can see the bees are quite happy with that and that means that they are now in a proper full size hive. I've just got back to our near side allotment with feed for the goats and no babies. In fact, she's actually got up to come out to get the feed. So I think we might be in for the long haul here. Well, there she is, the little girl, born in the last, I guess the last half hour or so. Typically, she uh, decided to have it when I wasn't here.
The baby was up and about when I got here, uh, so uh, she's uh, quite feisty and it seems to have a good appetite on her as well. She's already been on the, uh, the udders uh, a few times since I got here. It is Monday the 12th of August 2019, as you can see, I'm uh, here in the kitchen. We had a load of gooseberries and plums that came out of the freezer uh, to use up and one of our apple trees is now ready for cropping. So I've combined the lot together to make an apple, gooseberry and plum jam. So as you can see, it's all happily bubbling away and hopefully Shortly it will be at its setting point. So here we have 17 and a half jar of jam and as you can see it is set rather well. It is Tuesday the 13th of August 2019. Now yesterday I was making this. This is gooseberry, apple and plum jam. And I made, I think it was about 17 jars, 16, 17, something like that. Uh, now, because it had apple in, um, we were therefore left with the peel and the core. The core, so they were all boiled up and then they, they were strained and we were left with a liquid which we then made into jelly. So this is what I've made today. It's a byproduct of the jam that we made, and it was it's a way of making sure that the cores and peel aren't wasted. It's a little bit more in the tub there, but otherwise, four jars in that little bowl we made today. But there was another byproduct from that process of boiling up the apple peel and so on, and that is this puree. And that is going to be used tomorrow because what I'll be making then is ketchup and that puree uh, will be going into it along with some black currant juice and puree that I made last week. It is Saturday the 17th of August 2019. As you can see I'm in the kitchen and today I'm using up a load of fruit purees. Uh, that we've made recently or have come out of the freezer to uh, uh, make them into ketchup and this is the first one that we're doing this is going to be apple and blackcurrant ketchup now I've sort of searched around for blackcurrant ketchup recipes and really just couldn't find any so I'm kind of making this one up as I go along so in the pan we've got a litre of puree, of apple and blackcurrant puree, about 300 grams of sugar, teaspoonful of cayenne pepper, teaspoonful of salt and a tablespoonful of mustard seeds. So what we're going to do now is add in half a litre of red wine vinegar, which is possibly a little bit too much, so we may have to add in a bit more puree shortly. But we'll bring, we'll put that the heat under that, and uh, see how that takes off. Well, it's definitely turning out to be one of those make it up as you go along recipes because uh, it was a little bit too thin, so I've put in all plum puree that I was uh, planning to use today so the I uh, hope that, that I'd had hoped that i would be able to make a plum and chili ketchup uh, but that's off the cards now so because it's all in the pan so we'll let this come to the boil and then we'll simmer it to reduce it down a bit So there we have it, two large bottles and two small ones and of course the proof is always in the eating, or in this case the licking.
Well, we've now come up to the hop garden in High Spen because uh, they are having a um, well, a, a, an apple picking event uh, where you can make a donation uh, in uh, exchange for apples. Uh, but uh, we're doing it slightly differently because we're taking all our bruised and bashed apples, uh, which we will be giving to our goats. But what we're doing is giving them uh, not a cash donation, but. Uh, uh, a swap. So that is a bottle of homemade ketchup, uh, gooseberry ketchup. And just grab them. A couple of boxes of Milax. It is Monday, the 19th of August 2019. We're off to the vet. A uh, little problem with uh, Perky. He has a horn stump that's uh, been growing. It's about 15 centimetres long but it's become dislodged and uh, we need to get him to the vet to have it removed or else he'll end up with a very pretty mess on his head. And you can see the small horn stub there and there, that's it, there's the other one, slightly dislodged. Well we're here but uh, we are here early so the vets aren't even open yet so we've got about 15 minutes to wait. Well the job is now done, uh, it looks a bit scary on the top there but uh, that will clean up and as you can see he is already eating well done uh, so we're expecting a very quick recovery and here he is back home now with his two girls It's Friday the 23rd of August 2019. I've just been in to see my solicitors. It's all about this land purchase that we're doing up at Sunnyside. So we have uh, signed a few more legal documents and uh, hopefully within a week or so we may actually be in possession of the land. It is Sunday the 25th of August 2019. I'm here on our near side allotment and uh, this is where all our goats are at the moment but we're going to move uh, four of them possibly five depending on uh, whether uh, the fifth one cooperates uh, to, we're going to move them to our far side allotment because uh, two days ago uh, the holding pen that we've got there for them was full of branches from when we previously had the goats there and uh, the branches have been fed to them they'd eaten all the leaves the twigs the bark and so on and uh, all that was left behind was the um, the the six, uh, and they were filling the uh, the holding pen. So that's uh, uh, why we decided, reluctantly, but uh, we decided anyway, to use the incinerator. So we got rid of all the branches there, all the sticks there. Uh, so the paddock there, the holding pen is ready to be used again by the goats. Well, this is the holding pen. As you can now see, we have moved five of the goats here, just for a few days. So that's Cole, Danny, Perky, Sandy and Snow. And we'll be feeding them on the hedge trimmings from the hawthorn hedges that are around here. These hedges have already been trimmed, uh, there's a little bit still to come off, but there's a lot of other hedges here which we'll be feeding to them. It is Friday the 30th of August 2019 now. Yesterday we were putting the honey through the honey press and today, I'm pleased to say, we have now put it into jars and uh, we've got fee size jars. Uh, so that's 113 grams or a quarter pound. Then we've got um, 226 grams or a uh, half pound. And uh, uh, well, my arithmetic's running out, so um, uh, one pound jars as well. And what we're going to do is um, sell that uh, tomorrow at the Winnie's Community Garden. Now, they've got a, a Birds of Prey day on, so um, they've said that uh, they're quite happy for us to have a table there and uh, sell our honey. It 
It is Saturday the 31st of August 2019. Bit of a breezy day, but it is actually a bit sunny. So the the event that is that was scheduled to go ahead at the Winnies, which is the Bird of Prey event, has actually gone ahead and we are here now and we have a table selling our honey. Have a stroke first. But as you can see, we ain't got much left. So it's been quite a successful day for honey sales. So what we need to do is check another two hives which we think have honey crop on them and get that taken off them.